our new computers are appointed with some very unique features. Behind this smoke panel, you'll find an LED speed indicator, power on-off indicator, and reset button. We have also included an independently operated clock calendar in the front of all our systems. The power switch on both the Elite and Prestige are located on the CPU front for easy access. On the Premier, however, the power switch is located on the back of the computer. Because this system is typically used for applications requiring 24-hour-a-day operation, we wanted to ensure that its power wouldn't accidentally be turned off. The front of all our systems sport a practical flip-down panel. Contained inside, you'll find a decal where you will list the serial number of your computer, its components, as well as the date of purchase. You'll find this information useful if you require technical assistance or support. That's why we've also included our toll-free technical support number and Delta Gold main office number. On the panel door, you'll find our quick start information cards. These fingertip reference cards are easy to understand and cover the most widely used MS-DOS commands, keyboards and their functions, as well as how to format copy and delete files, and much more. On the right of our CPUs, you'll see a black box which houses the disk drives. The Delta Gold Elite has two five and a quarter inch 360K floppy disk drives, while the Delta Gold Prestige and Premier each have one standard 1.2 megabyte floppy disk drive. Place your Delta Gold computer on a surface that offers solid support. Availability to AC grounded outlets, proper lighting, and in an area that provides total accessibility to your computer and its installation. Set the keyboard in front of the CPU and remove its plastic sleeve. Undo the Elite Monitor's attached video and power cables. Both the Premier and Prestige system monitors come with attachable three-slot female and traditional three-prong AC plug, much like the CPU power cord. The keyboard cable attaches in the front of both the Prestige and Elite CPUs. Match up the notch with its corresponding receptacle and push it in. The attachment for the Premier is located in its back panel. Looking at the back of your computer, you will see two plug outlets, one female and one male. Insert your monitor's plug into the female outlet and plug the CPU power cord into the male outlet. Then retrieve the video cable. It's a nine-prong male unit with a uniquely shaped connector and vertical attachment screws. Tighten the support screws with a traditional flat tip screwdriver. You are now ready to plug in Elite single power cord or the two power cords of your Premier or Prestige into the AC grounded outlets. If you purchase the Delta Gold Elite, you have an 84-key IBM-compatible keyboard. If you purchase the Delta Gold Prestige or Premier, you have a 101-key IBM-compatible keyboard. You'll notice that the Delta Gold Prestige and Premier feature a 12-function key capability, while the Delta Gold Elite has a 10-function key capability. The character and number keys are similar to the keys found on a standard typewriter. The major difference is that the caps lock does not affect punctuation or numbers. However, the shift key will. The numeric lock lights when activated and is designed to enter numerical data for any software package you use. When this light is off, the cursor keys are activated. Here, the direction arrows on the numerical keys allow you to navigate around the screen, up, down, left or right. The enter key 
also called the return key, is used to enter command words and responses to prompts. The escape key is frequently used to cancel a request or to exit from a program. The shift keys are two duplicate keys that change lowercase to capitals. They also reverse the state of the numeric lock key and the caps lock key. The backspace key moves the cursor one character to the left, deleting one character each time the key is struck. Before pressing enter, the backspace key can be used to delete any incorrect command or word. The tab key moves the cursor to the next preset tab stop. The control key is application dependent. It is commonly used together with other keys. When the control key is depressed while depressing another key as determined by the software program in use, the function of that key will be activated. Like the control key, the alternative mode key is commonly used together with other keys. When the alternative mode key is depressed while another key is struck, the function of that key is activated. The scroll lock break key is application dependent. It is commonly used with a control key to cause a program break. In some application programs, this acts as a toggle key, allowing you to scan over the text instead of controlling cursor movement. The function keys and the control keys serve a tremendous number of functions based on the requirements of the software program in use. All software publishers will list the specific functions of the function keys with their program, and you should refer to the manual if you have any questions. Before you start your computer, you'll need to remove the cardboard protectors from the disk drives. If you purchase the Elite, you'll take them out of the A and B drive like this. Insert the MS-DOS system disk in drive A. Make sure the label is facing up and toward you as you insert it into drive A. Turn the drive lever down to lock the disk in place. Now push the monitor power button on. You'll know it's on when the LED lights up. Turn the power switch on on your CPU. Your power light will light. The computer will go through a self-test. The LEDs on the keyboards will blink. One short beep indicates everything is fine. If you can't see anything or your monitor image is unclear, Simply adjust the contrast and brightness controls located on the front of your monitor. If you purchase the Delta Gold Prestige or Premier, you must run the setup program supplied on your diagnostics disk. If you don't, the date and time information will be lost when you turn the computer off. We will now program the current date. If today is January the 1st, 1990, you would type the numbers 0, 1, hit the dash symbol, 0, 1, hit the dash symbol again, and the numbers 9, 0. To enter this date, hit the Enter key. After the date is typed and entered, the system will prompt you to set the time on the computer's 24-hour clock. If it is 9 o'clock in the morning, you should type 0, 9, hit the shift and colon keys, 0, 0. Hit enter, and the time will be set. If the time is 1.25 p.m., 13.25.00 should be entered on the 24-hour clock. When you boot up or start up your computer on any given day, the monitor will display the date. If correct, hit Enter. The prompt will then show the time. If correct, hit Enter. If the time and date are incorrect, simply enter the correct time and date and Enter. Your screen will now display an A prompt or a C prompt if you are using a hard disk system.
If you purchase the optional hard disk system, the disk must be formatted for use at this time. Do not attempt to format the hard disk drive until you have reviewed the proper procedure. You are now ready to use your Delta Gold computer. We'll go through the important steps slowly. However, if you find that the video is going too fast, simply stop the tape and rewind to the section you need. Please go at a pace you're comfortable with. If you are using the Delta Gold Prestige with a hard disk, simply insert the Delta Connection System disk in drive A. At the C-Prompt, type MD space D-E-L-T-A-C and enter. Then type C-D space D-E-L-T-A-C and enter. Then type A colon and enter. At the A prompt type hard H-A-R-D and follow the instructions on your monitor. If you are using the Delta Gold Elite without a hard disk, we will now create self-loading copies of your Delta Gold Connection System disk. Begin with your DOS disk in Drive A and your monitor displaying the A prompt. At the A prompt, type Format, F-O-R-M-A-T, space, B, shift, colon, slash, S, and press Enter. When prompted, insert a blank floppy disk in Drive B and hit the Enter key your disk will begin formatting. The monitor will ask you if you want an additional copy by displaying Format Another, Y, or N. Type Y for Yes and Enter, because you will want a number of copies. Follow the instructions on your monitor and repeat this procedure three more times. After the fourth prompt to format another Y or N, type N for No and Enter. Now you will create labels for your newly formatted disks. Write Delta Gold Connection System Work Copy on two labels. Be sure never to write on the disk because any pressure could result in damage. Then create two labels that say Delta Gold Connection Tutorial Data Disk. Affix the labels to your newly formatted disks. At the A prompt, reinsert one of your recently created Delta Gold system work copies in Drive B and type copy, C-O-P-Y, hit space, mode, M-O-D-E, hit period key, asterisk, hit space, B, shift key, and colon, and enter. You now have all the required DOS files on this disk. Proceed with your second work copy. These disks eliminate your need to boot up with DOS in the future. With your second work copy still in Drive B, remove DOS from Drive A and insert your Delta Gold Connection System disk. At the A prompt, type L-A-R-G-E-S-L -E and enter. Follow the instructions on your monitor, then remove the work copy, insert the other, and repeat above. With the Delta Gold Connection information now transferred to both work copies, insert the first of two tutorial copies into Drive B. Now remove the Delta Gold Connection data system disk from Drive A and put the Delta Connection installation disk in its place. At the A prompt, type TUTDATA, T-U-T-D-A-T-A, and enter. Follow the instructions on your monitor. Remove the data disk from Drive B and insert the second data copy. Put your DOS and data disks away for safekeeping. Insert your new work copy into Drive A and your Delta Gold Connection tutorial data disk in the B drive. At the A prompt, type DCL space B and enter. This will bring you to the program. You will see this screen, a command menu work area, and the dialog area. Here the Delta Gold Connection works with you, requesting information, displaying your replies, and current work status. The service menus list the available services and are located at the bottom of your screen. They are database, word processing, denoted as document, spreadsheet, and communication. The database maintains your written records 
files, inventories, and other lists that you may need to access. The document service allows you to write and revise memos and reports, to move text, to check and correct spelling, as well as other word processing functions. The spreadsheet service is a powerful management tool in which you can build statistical models, budgets, profit and loss statements, and test hypothetical what-if situations. The communication service provides the ability to communicate with other computer systems to send and receive data using ordinary telephone lines. If you want to write a letter, you can do so by accessing the document service. You can read more about the document service by referring to Chapter 4 as indicated by the yellow divider. An arrow will point to the current service in use. In this case, it's Database-1. Hit the F10 key on the feature bank. This key exclusively accesses the service menu. Then follow the dialog area's advice and activate the cursor. In this case, the right arrow key. Move the blinking arrows on the monitor to document, like so. Press Enter. The dialog area will then prompt you with a question. Open new service? Type Y or N. Type Y for yes. Notice document changes from dash one to asterisk one. The one indicates that this is the first of nine documents you can work on simultaneously in the service. Now the work area is ready. Type just as you would if you were using a typewriter. Dear John, now you'll access another service simultaneously. Let's start with the database. Press the service key F10 and move the blinking arrow to the left with the left cursor arrow key. When the arrow points to database-1, hit enter. Then respond as before to the dialog area as it asks you, open new service, Y or N, type Y. The database dash one turns from dash one to asterisk one, and you're in the database. You can now use this service to list addresses for a mailing of your form letter. To get back to your letter to John a little more quickly, press F10 and hit D for documents, and you're back in the document service. If you wish to work on the annual report that you're going to send to John and other people, simply press F10, hit the up cursor arrow key as document asterisk one, changes to document dash two, and enter. The dialog area will again prompt you, open new service, Y or N, type Y. Document turns from dash two to asterisk two. As indicated on the top of the screen, the function keys control many different kinds of menus and record files. The annual report we want is stored on this disk under F7. Push F7 and R for retrieve and then type annual, A-N-N-U-A-L, and enter. The report will appear on the screen. Now to switch from the report, press F10, the down cursor arrow key and the enter key, and you're back to your letter. Now you can edit and update the report and reference these changes in the form letter simultaneously. This overview has been designed to familiarize yourself with the Delta Gold connection. However, we strongly recommend that you read the Delta Gold manual prior to actual use. For those of you that wish to try your hand at programming, you'll want to use the GW Basic program that Delta Gold has supplied for you. Put the DOS disk in drive A. Turn your computer on. At the A prompt, remove the DOS disk and insert your GW Basic disk in drive A and type GW Basic, G -W -B -A -S -I -C, and enter. The Basic program will be available once the computer is ready and the display screen shows Basics Prompt. We recommend you consult your GW Basic manual for the proper use of this program. The Delta Gold Elite comes with two floppy disk drives. The A drive is the top drive, while the bottom is the B drive. 
The Prestige and Premier systems come with an A drive only. The B or hard disk drive is an add-on option. Before you install either option, please make sure that your computer is unplugged. First, remove the top three Phillips screws from the back of your unit with your Phillips head screwdriver. Then remove its cover. To remove the computer's front cover plate, unscrew the three highlighted screws. Pry loose the cover locking tab with the tip of your flat end screwdriver. To make room for your new hard drive, depress the rail tabs on both sides of your floppy disk units and push them forward. Then remove their cables for easy access. Push in your new hard disk drive until it locks. Untape its ribbon, attach its power cord, connect its 34-pin connector and 20-pin connector. Or you can install a B-disk drive. Attach its power cord, then find its 34-pin connector on the A-drive's ribbon and attach it. To get your new addition up and running, lock and secure the front cover. Cover the unit. Screw in the three screws. Reconnect your plugs into their respective outlets. And you are ready. An internal modem or color board can be installed by positioning in any available slot by simply matching up the board to fit into the proper slot or socket. When seated, secure the screws with the tool that is supplied with your computer. Now cover the unit like before and verify that the color board is working properly. A picture on your monitor means the board has been installed correctly. Other options that will be available to you through Delta Gold Computer are communication boards for facsimile, telex, or terminal emulation. Remember, when installing any of the options, we strongly recommend you follow the manufacturer's recommendations for proper installation or have your computer dealer install your required options for you. The Delta difference is our commitment to ensure your complete satisfaction with your new Delta Gold system. Should you have difficulty with any phase of installation or computer operation, please contact Delta on our toll-free support line by calling 800-346-INFO. We are available during regular East Coast business hours to answer any questions you might have concerning your new Delta Gold system. It's a part of the Delta Gold difference. Any product is only as good as its warranty. And Delta Gold's program was designed to be a comprehensive protection program. We have a nationwide network of service centers to support our total commitment of providing you with expert technical assistance if you should require this support. In order to take advantage of the support program, you must fill in your warranty card and return it to Delta within 10 days of purchase. Hello, I am Gene Taylor, president of Delta Computer Corporation. I want to compliment you on your selection of the Delta Gold Series computer. We designed these systems with the high performance and stylish image that I thought you would appreciate. Hope you look forward to new products from Delta, and we'd appreciate sending in your comments and suggestions to us. Thank you.